Further afield, Apple's shares dropped following reports it could slash its iPhone 13 production targets due to the ongoing global computer chip shortage. The electronic giant had expected to make 90 million iPhones in the last quarter of 2021. Here are the details of this and other stories from other parts of the world. Semiconductor manufacturers have been down 1% as sources are struggling to deliver enough chips to Apple in time. Millions of products across multiple industries today relying on computer chips to run and semiconductor makers plants are currently working flat out to meet demand. Smartphone makers like Apple, some of the biggest chip purchasers in the world, have been severely impacted, but also other sectors like the car industry and the makers of video game consoles. Meanwhile, the UK's largest commercial port says supply chain crisis has caused a logjam of shipping containers. The port of Felix Store, which handles 36% of UK's freight container traffic, blamed the busy pre-Christmas period and haulage shortages. Shipping giant Maesk made it known that it is rerouting some of its biggest ships away from the port of Felix Store to other European ports where smaller vessels will be used for UK deliveries. This was after some of its largest 20,000 container ships were waiting outside the port for between four to seven days to other European ports where smaller vessels will be used for UK deliveries. Finally, the maker of China's best-selling brand of soy sauce is raising prices in the latest sign of inflationary pressures in this world's second largest economy. For Shan, Haitian flavoring and food company will increase the prices of its range of products by as much as 7% later this month. The Shanghai listed company pointed to higher cost of materials, transport and energy for the decision. The commodity prices have been surging as world emerges from the pandemic. Price increases will apply to soy sauce, oyster sauce and other sauce products from the 25th of October this year.